Hey guys, Big Dog Beef. Um, I don't know if you noticed, and you probably didn't because, well, how many people are sitting there analyzing every frame of video? In my IDPA match at Ontolani on Sunday, and I actually had the same problem the week before, and I thought I corrected the problem. Point is, throughout the match, my rear sight was loosening. It kept loosening up and moving over to the right. Um, I've already got this offset a little bit to the right because of my cross-eyed dominance. If I leave it perfectly centered, uh, then my shots are uh, a little bit to the left. So, gotta move the sight just a skosh to the right. Well, throughout the match, and I'm gonna uh, take a look at these, these pictures. In the first picture, um, you can see that there is, this is the, the, first, the first stage. And you can see, I guess, what it looks to be the sight where I want it. Uh, and then in the second picture that you're going to see here, you will notice that the sight is now way over to the right. And I think that that is one of the reasons why some of my shots were crap. And I think especially why I ended up getting a uh, missing the target on that final stage, on stage eight, even though I was that close because I was still aiming down the sights. So. What we're going to do today, and let's bring it on back, is I'm going to take off the rear sight, and I am going to Loctite that bitch, okay? This is somewhat of a delicate operation, because this is a really tiny screw in here. Um, as you can see, see I have to back it out enough because there's a little tiny channel, and uh, let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. Oh, wrong direction, I always do that. Okay, let's move you over a little bit, and sorry about that, okay. Okay, so I'm able now to get the sight out, and I can see where the screw actually sits in here, and where it normally is. I am actually going to take the screw completely out, and what I am going to do is I am going to put some Loctite on that little tiny set screw. Um, so hopefully that'll help lock things down. And at the same time, let me back you guys that back out again. And at the same time, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm actually just going to clean this really quickly here. Uh, give it a quick little shot of ballastol in there. Um, what I'm going to do there is I am going to put Loctite inside this channel. Um, so I want to get all this off of here first and get it all cleaned up. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is get this all cleaned up. This is the wood end here. Let's make sure there's nothing holding things up. And we got a clean one. This is where it gets fun. And I guess what I'm doing is here is going to clean the ballast all out, get all the grease and all that stuff out real quick. Okay, I am going to take some of the Loctite Blue thread locker because I don't want to do, I don't, I don't want to put heat on here. I don't want the red stuff. That's, whoo, that would kind of suck. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, I'm at, ooh, geez. I came out a little quicker than I wanted to. So I'm just actually going to put some thread locker right there. Let me grab a, a Q-tip and just kind of spread it out a tad. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to try and lock the sight in place now, if I can. Um, and you know what? Let's take the little tiny set screw here. See, look how small that is. Let me get, there you go. Ah, jeez, come on. <laughs> I'm all zoomed in here. Now i got to figure out, there you go. All right, and then, of course, it's focusing on my hand, not the set screw. Look how small that is. I mean, this thing is really freaking tiny. So I am actually going to, let me get the Q-tip I was using again here and get some of the thread locker on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just paint some of this on here. And I don't think that's going to work. Nope, that's not going to work. So let's get the thread locker back off. And hopefully you guys can still see this. Just a quick, there we go. Quick little dab on there. Now the fun part will be getting everything back on and hoping 
Um, okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and get the screw started back into the site. So, this has got a way to travel. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the site back on the rear site here. This is a Novak style site that actually comes standard on. Um, uh, on Taurus uh, 1911s now. And I can see, let me get my calipers out, I kind of measured this a little bit. Um, so right now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten this down and then I'm going to do a quick caliper measurement to um, see if I'm where I need to be because previously to this video what I ended up doing was I ended up um, kind of measuring distance on either side again because I am left eye dominant and cross eye dominant rather same difference uh, the site for me needs to be just a, a little bit a skosh if you will to the right so that's at 0, 0, 0.75 and over here 0, 0, 0.36 okay I went too far so I'm going to unloosen this up. It's also very important to use the proper um, sized hex wrench. This one here I think is like 1 16th hex wrench is the size. Um, and whew, I mean that's tiny. You gotta be careful not to strip that screw. Okay. Zero this out again. Let's try it another time. You're probably not you're not seeing the numbers here, and I apologize for that. Um, Okay, 058, and back over here. Stay right there. Shit. Man, I went too far. Wow, okay. Uh, believe it or not, it's actually 058058, so I've actually gone ahead and centered it back up. Um, so that being said, uh, loosen it one more time, okay, and slide it over just a tad. Now I'm actually going to have to get this to the range and test it. Um, of course, the fun part will be hoping I'm dead on because if it's not perfectly right, it might be a little hard to get it uh, correct again <laughs> in that now that I've got thread locker on there. Um, but this should uh, it should correct the issues I was having so I'm going to just snug this down so it's in the channel and again got to be careful that I'm not stripping anything again set screw very very tiny one last time can't help myself you know this is one of those measure twice, cut once sort of things, which believe it or not, I've always been kind of horrible with. My family, it's always been measure four times, you know, and cut twice more. Okay, so that should do it. Uh, it is slightly off center to where I need it to be. And I guess the next time we head out to the range, uh, we will test it and make sure we're doing okay. So thanks guys for watching. And uh, as always, I'll see you next time.